Mappers, welcome back to another exciting video. You guys asked for big smallmouth content, so we are at the place to do it. We are at Mille Lacs Lake, seven hours from home, up in Minnesota. Out here fishing today with my buddy Austin Felix. Austin Fish is the, uh, the FLW Tour. Uh, some of you guys might know him from that. Uh, top 10 in the Forestwood Cup. He did well in points. Just running the world out there in the tournament scene. He also is a uh, freaking hammer out here on this lake right now, and this is the time to do it. He's been on real good smallmouth bite. You're singing like swim baits, stuff like that? Oh yeah, drag some swim baits around some contacts. You bet. It's gonna be a good freaking time out here, and uh, always a chance to get a mega giant out here on this lake. So uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna run out to the, the main spot. This is a giant lake. It's basically the ocean out here. It's like 20 miles across. Fish tournament here with Zark. You guys might have seen that like a year and a half, two years ago, and um, we about sank the boat. So that was a good time. I don't think it's gonna be quite as windy today. We're gonna have some good conditions, and we're gonna get to stick. Let's do it. No. No. I'm still rigging. This guy up here. Coming up. No. Okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I got it tied on. <laughs> I'm ready to fish now. I told you I should have tied it on last night. Nice, on the rig. Well, there's still a few here. <laughs> I suppose that's the way to start. You got it. Damn, dude. <laughs> the old Minnesota one hook regulation. Man, I have to catch them bigger than this. Oh, ow. Well, three and three quarters? Yeah, three and a half, maybe four. They get so heavy so fast. Yeah, they do. Okay. You're up. Okay. All right. like nothing why it looks like we're just grinding around cranking our handles so freaking slow what, what exactly what are we doing here we're just fishing the swim bait i mean slow 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 Water slow temps mid 50s i think that's a little high probably lower than that yeah they this just, is it though just like jig head three eighths you just barely want that three point eight contact yeah just like just wide wag bottom contact yeah grinding it. Most but. people fish over these fish too fast. Yeah. They're feeding down. They're all, their main forage, if you catch them, they're still, they're still spitting on crawfish, but mm -hmm. they've seen so many Ned rigs, so many tubes and stuff. That yeah, that's that's a big thing. Just come conditioned. Yeah, them. yeah. You said pretty much all summer they're, they're eating crawfish, you catch them on craw imitators, but now they get on bait fish a lot more. Yeah, and it's just easier. They don't tend to these baits don't tend to hang up in the zebra mussels the way dragon baits do. You'll be, you'll lose a hundred baits a day if you try to drag through this. For stuff. sure. Or this you can kind of keep it down there, but still keep moving enough that you can cover a little bit of water. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's a good time. I like to fish a moving bait. I like to fish deep and slow and grind around like this. But I'm definitely getting a lesson from this guy today. He's done this once or twice, I think. I'm gonna reel that one in. <laughs> On the fall? Are you serious? <laughs> 
This is a big one too, dude. Uh, uh, no way. It didn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, this is a giant, man. Ooh. You want me to get the net or are you going to wrangle Dude, them? I don't know. I might just like give up fishing altogether. I don't think if he comes off. Dude, they eat it so good. He's probably... And he ate them. Yes, it's God. a fish. What kind of swim baits for that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I just found it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. Oh, he's not that big. He just got it so deep, I think, because he freaking got it when it went down. Ugh. Finally! I'm the best fisherman alive! <laughs> Uh, you're starting to worry like what's happening does he actually ever catch anything let's say he got it deep folks thanks austin thanks for, thanks for taking us to the spot the game. not small. Austin is sneaky fish catches. If that one didn't jump, you might have been able to put it in the boat before I know this. <laughs> Try to keep the next one down. <laughs> That's a big head shake. Oh, oh, it worked, man. 
fat biggins. I'll let you hold it. That's a tank. It's a beauty. They are getting fat. We're fishing mostly what, like 13 to 16 feet. Oh god. That I, ain't it, he says. That ain't it. I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> At least he was nice and said something on this one. <laughs> Just a little guy? I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so. Damn it! Awesome! watching at home you are not allowed to keep walleyes is there any season for them out here um, you're allowed to keep like one during the summer until they meet their quota or ah I got you I don't really follow it. regardless we're not keeping them water and stuff. Not the biggest one of the day by any means, but you can't beat that fish at that. Look at Austin's tiny little fish. Wow. He's struggling, but at least I can catch some. That was fun. Twofer. Dope.
<laughs> Austin's <laughs> underwater. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's tank. I'm about that. Finally. We're, we're back on them, folks. We were getting ready to leave, and we came back to the juice. And... Okay. I like it. You get a picture of that one, Cole. Feel that one bite, he just picked it up. Just got off the water. Fun day out there. It started off high 30s, a little bit of wind, and now it feels like exactly the same temperature with more wind. So it's cold, but the bite wasn't even great, and this guy is freaking dialed. Caught him. Pretty good. I mean, excellent. I'd say probably better than most people that were out today. Yeah, considering the conditions, it's it's a fun bite. They just kind of load up really hard, and it's like just setting into a log. Or yeah, I, don't, I mean, when we didn't eat it. It just we didn't catch a fish under three pounds a day. Probably. It's a good freaking time out there on the water. Um, yeah, swim baits, slow, dragon, rocks, irregularities. It's a good time. It's stuff I like to fish. Do me a huge favor, go follow this guy, what, Instagram? Head over to Austin's Instagram. He's got some big life decisions coming up with what he wants to fish next year. He actually qualified to fish professionally, bass and FLW. So um, he's gonna have some exciting stuff coming up. He's, he's kind of just on his way up with everything. Every year it seems like you do a little bit, a little bit better. Probably heading to the elites next year. All right, you heard it. You heard it here first-ish, one <laughs> yeah. of the first times. But um, yeah, go give this guy a follow and of course, Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more smallmouth bass fishing videos. You have to get out with this guy more and um, maybe maybe even catch like half as many fish next time. Hopefully. Maybe get out there next spring. We'll smash one. Spring? Done. I'm in. If you guys want to see that, let us know down below. Catch you very soon.